I'm Marcus Ransom, Apple Solutions Architect here at CompNow. When Apple announced their new range of M1 Pro and M1 Max computers, we talked through all the new features, but now we've had some time to play around with the actual hardware, it's confirmed how big the leap in performance is. So first, let's have a look at the physical changes. Ports, ports, ports. We've got three Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports that are fantastic for connecting everything we need, but we also see the heralded return of a native HDMI port and the MagSafe 3 power connection. So the MagSafe 3 cable also allows for fast charger, 50% in 30 minutes, if you use an up-spec charger. And we also get an SDXC card slot. Now the keyboard is great, I'm really loving this. It's continuing the focus on improvements that Apple has made on their recent models. The new 1080p FaceTime camera is perfect for remote or hybrid work, and the built-in audio is phenomenal, with support for spatial audio and a three mic array. The new liquid retina display is simply stunning to use. It's got a thousand nits of sustained brightness and up to 1600 at peak brightness. And if the built-in display isn't enough for you, we of course get the ability to connect on the M1 Pro up to two external displays and up to four on the M1 Max. Let's get to performance. So we've already been impressed by the firepower Apple brought to the table with the M1 processor, even being able to emulate Intel code faster than many Intel machines. But the M1 Pro is another leap forward. So we've got fast boot times, applications launching quickly, running multiple applications at once with ease. This is all things I've been able to do while giving this M1 Pro a test drive. The unit I've been using is an eight core model with 16 gig of RAM and it was able to handle every task I threw at it. Video calls whilst continuing to run resource intensive tasks in the background, and I never heard the fans spin up. Compiling dev projects in under half the time of my previous Intel MacBook Pro. This is why companies such as Reddit and Twitter have deployed these machines to all of their engineers, stating that they will have paid for themselves in increased productivity in just a matter of months. We also played around with some video processing in Final Cut Pro and were able to render a 5 gig 4K clip with colour correction in under two minutes. So that same task took four or five times the amount of time on my previous Intel MacBook Pro. Now remember this is the M1 Pro. The M1 Max, which is optimised for GPU performance, would smash these times out of the park. So let's talk about the notch. A lot of commentary has been made about the notch for the camera at the top of the display. So rather than the notch protruding into the 16.9 screen real estate, the menu bar actually projects up each side of the camera. So when you run full screen, the uncropped image sits below the camera with no missing real estate at all. It did take me a couple of days to get used to the menu bar being in two halves, but like most changes, after a day or so, I wasn't even aware it was there. So the M1 Pro is a huge leap forwards from Apple. We can't wait to hear about how it's making a difference in your environment. If you would like more information about deploying Macs in your workplace, then please get in touch via your CompNow account manager or at info at compnow.com.au.